Good afternoon, everyone. And today we have with us Julio. Welcome to our third alumni chat series. Um, and thank you so much for joining us, Julio, um, taking out the time to you know, speak with us and our viewers. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing really good, Aiza. Thank you so much for your invitation. And actually, yeah, yes, thank you. And thank you, entire Romero Mentory community for inviting me, you know. Thank you, of course, of course. Um, so let's get started. Um, so, you know, Julio, why don't you explain us your professional and personal journey, uh, sort of diving into your what your long-term goals are and what your short-term goals are? Sure, perfect. So to give you a little bit more of my, my, about my background, I was actually born and raised in Venezuela and moved to the U.S. when I was about 15, then graduated high school and I'm in college now, pursuing a double major in economics and finance. And, you know, in college, I started, you know, looking at different clubs and looking at different career paths. And I came across a very good club of uh, about investment banking. And that's like pretty much where my first uh, contact with the industry was. Nice. Uh, later on, I was, I was actually able to do a 10-month full-time internship here in a private bank in Miami. It was, it was not investment bank, it was more uh, wealth management mm -hmm. for clients in South America. But, you know, uh, being able to work full-time and also being a full-time student actually taught me a lot about the industry, about the work that you have to put in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I pretty much kind of like fell in love with the industry. And then, you know, I kept going and just, you know, doing more research. And then I came across my own mentoring. I actually completed the course, which actually opened many, many doors to me. And now I'm very happy to, to say that I'm, I got an offer to <clears throat> work at an investment bank in, in New York uh, this summer as a summer analyst. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what, what I've been doing. Congratulations on getting this offer from, uh, you know, BNP Paribas. Um, I mean, and your professional journey and your experience at Romero mentoring must have really, really helped you, you know, get this in internship in the first place. So uh, why don't you, you know, dive further into what your role at BNP Paribas will be you know, over the summer? Sure, definitely. So I'm going to be working with them with their, well, first of all, I think it's kind of important to explain that BNP Paribas as, as a French, as a traditional French bank, it's, it's, it's actually the largest bank in the Eurozone. Oh, wow. But I'm, of course, their headquarters in Paris, not here mm -hmm. in the States. So here in the States, they, they do traditional investment banking, as, as we know, from the equity side and, and, and everything that, 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 that we know. But I'm going to be actually be, be working with their, more of their credit part. So mm -hmm. I'm going to be working with their global credit markets, especially mm -hmm. with their asset finance and securization team. And they, they specialize on fund on getting all the funding and getting all the, you know, the, the credit side for projects mm -hmm. all around the world. You know, mm -hmm. uh, when we talk about projects, we're going to be talking about, you know, small businesses yeah. to airports or, you know, huge uh, government projects or private projects in, all around the world. Mm -hmm. so it would be more, more of the debt and, 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 and credit side than okay. traditional banking. That, that, that is very interesting. Seems like a great opportunity for you. You know, before we dive into other questions, uh, why don't you explain about how your interview process was? Because I'm sure a lot of the viewers watching this video or the chat series must be really interested to understand what the interview process is like at big, you know, these big bulge bracket firms. Um, so I think that will really help our viewers understand what the entire process is like. Sure. So, of course, every, every bulge big bank has kind of, well, almost all of the process are kind of similar, but every single one has mm -hmm. some differences. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk, of course, about the BNP process and how it was, mm -hmm. because that's the one I have experienced. Um, and so it all started, you know, as, as any project, you know, with the, you have to submit your resume, your personal experience, what school you go to. And then you can, of course, from your side, start doing some networking, maybe via LinkedIn and mm -hmm. stuff. And then you get your first round, which is a phone call. Uh, in this this case, since the pandemic and everything, they're actually doing more Zooms instead of phone calls, since yeah. everyone is just used to doing Zooms. <laughs> so they're like, why would you, you, why would we do a, a Zoom call? Mm -hmm. And then actually afterwards, uh, I got invited to a super day mm -hmm. where I got um, interviewed by four uh, medium to senior management uh, employees. Mm -hmm. And that was, uh, I think it was half an hour to 40 minutes each interview. And, you know, it was oh, wow. mostly you had, a, of course, you had your technicals, you had your behaviorals, you had your, um, and you had, of course, a 
more like fit uh, mm-hmm. questions to yeah. see how yeah. how you fit your their culture. Mm-hmm. So you know it's pretty traditional uh, to hear in, in the entire summer analyst um, uh, recruiting process, but um, you know it's 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 a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, I mean to understand a little bit more about this process, you know, how did you prepare for this interview process? Because it seems, seems like a really really long into and very very intense interview process so how what helped you prepare for this interview process better sure uh, well i would say one part of it of course comes from you doing your own due diligence mm-hmm. you being responsible and you understanding i think a huge part that these post brackets banks wants to see from you more than your achievements at school is that you actually care about the bank that you're passionate about what they do Mm-hmm. So if you're able, you know, to talk to them and tell them, you know, hey, I, I went through your website or I read some news about what you guys are doing. I think this is amazing. I think this deal that you guys were involved, mm-hmm. it's, uh, it's, it was really interesting for X, Y, Z. And, you know, you really have to put on your work. Another part, of course, would be, you know, just being able to train yourself to, to speak to someone at a false bracket bank. You know, I, yeah. I remember my first couple of interviews at other firms probably sucked because <laughs> you know i was all scared or yeah. you know i was like wow who am i talking to you know i'm just a college student talking <laughs> to this huge uh, guy but you know at the end they all probably went through the same thing when yeah. they were interns and you know you have to they actually want you to be there and they are happy to to, uh, to ask you questions mm-hmm. and then another part of course i have to say romero mentoring taught me a lot uh, all my talks with Mr. Romero and with everyone in the community. Mr. Romero, I know he gave me a lot of good tips. Mm-hmm. He showed me a lot of videos about, you know, how to answer to the behavioral questions. He also taught me a lot about the technical part. Mm-hmm. And actually, you know, as, 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 you, as you go through these processes, you get better, you know, as you interview with more banks, as you interview with more people, you actually get more comfortable and that helps a lot too. You know, I guess if you would have, if you were to put me in my first interview, compared to my last one it would be like probably two different people you know yeah just because of the entire experience that you get from doing this over and over again mm-hmm. yeah so i mean even i remember my first interview um with one of the big bulge bracket firms and i was in the same place as you like i was i was literally mm-hmm. shaking after the call. <laughs> i was like dude that was like was it good was it not good but and as you said, as you continue interviewing for other people, for other banks, you just get more comfortable and used to the process. Um, so talking about, you know, how Romero Mentoring helped you, can you talk about a project that you worked on at Romero Mentoring that helped you, you know, sort of um, get a better understanding of the industry and, uh, you know, better prepared you for the interviews and, uh, you know, just in, your, gen- in general, your role at BNP Paribas? Sure. So one project that I think actually helped me a lot, even though it, it didn't like finish through to say like that. Mm-hmm. I remember, I think it was in December or maybe uh, end of November, mm-hmm. I was actually do, doing some research for the Romero Capital and I came across its pharma company. Mm-hmm. And even though, you know, we ended up not um, going through with the, with the company and, you know, maybe yeah. investing in the company, Mm-hmm. It's actually the entire due diligence process. I yeah. remember talking to Mr. Romero on like a Friday at 11 p.m., you know, yeah. and he was, and, and I was asking questions and all he told me was, you know, uh, because he, he sent me some research reports from that same company, from other analysts. And I was asking him, you know, how do they come up with these projections? You know? And he was like, this is the art. This is the part that you have to, to master, to master exactly. Yeah. And, 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 um, and, and so pretty much what he told me is, you know, I'm not going to help you or give you the answer, even though I could give you an answer mm-hmm. because you being creative and you trying to find more information and putting together your pitch is going to help you much more than mm-hmm. if I just give you the answer. Yeah. So I think that a specific project helped me a lot to do like, you know, the entire due diligence process, the entire creative part about the industry, the entire putting together all the information into a more presentable form at the end and pitch it to Mr. Romero. Mm-hmm. So I think that was probably the, the project that I'm more proud of and that helped me the most. Yeah, I mean, presentation skills, due diligence and working mm-hmm. long hours is what, yeah. uh, you know, not, not working long hours typically at Romero Mentoring, but, you know, it teaches you a lot. Like I've also learned um, and sort of being on the track to master the skill of due diligence and creating mm-hmm. a plan-ready res- plan presentations 
which people in the industry who are working full time currently do. So I think this whole process really helps you prepare, prepare better, and I also sort of gives you a little more confidence about the interview process because you've gone through what they're doing right now. So definitely. I mean, yeah, definitely on point about that. So since Romero mentoring is you know like a paid program, and being a college student, you know we all have limited funds. How did you convince your uh, parents to you know to pay for a program like Romero mentoring? Well, actually, my my story is a little bit different because mm-hmm. um, I actually funded the the entire program for uh, by myself. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, as as I mentioned before, I worked uh, full time in, in a in as as an intern here at a bank. I was actually mm-hmm. able to get a paid internship <laughs> as a freshman. I had some savings, and of course, I have to say, uh, without the the scholarship that Romero Mentoring offered to me, it was mm-hmm. it would have been probably very difficult for me to afford it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, from the first time I talked to Mr. Romero and he explained what the program was about, I really saw the ROI in this, in this investment. Uh-huh. And I was like, you know, even like being able to afford this or, or, or you know, the, the, the dollar price that I'm going to pay for this, mm-hmm. it's easily going to be multiplied by 5 or 10x in the next couple yeah. of years, you know, because the knowledge that I'm going to get out of it mm-hmm. is something that I don't get from college. It's something that I don't get, you know, uh, it's, it's something that I, I can get in such a you know shorter period of time yeah. than if I was just doing it by myself mm-hmm. so you know it was it was really worth it yeah 100% um, but you know what was it so now going back and thinking about this whole whole process which you did and you know you funded by yourself do you think Romero mentoring was a good investment and also what part about Romero mentoring caught your most attention you know what made you um, want to you know put, invest your your personal savings into a program like this? Yeah, no, a hundred percent. From 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 the question of of being a good investment, I mean, uh, I am living proof. You know, I, I probably got my offer to BNP because of the Romero mentoring program. You know, of everything that I got, yeah. and hopefully, you know, the 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 this um this path that I'm gonna have to take at BNP is gonna allow me to have a a, a significant career in the future. Mm-hmm. So that part of the the ROI of this of this um, of this um, program it's huge. Yeah. And you know from the specifics part about the program that convinced me to to pay for it, mm-hmm. I would say the technical part was the one that got to my attention. You know that the, the the teaching of the technical skills, yeah. which uh, as you also went through a program, mm-hmm. uh, he teaches you you know the entire technical uh, skills that a first or even second year analyst is learning while mm-hmm. works you know so you are actually able to get to that to your job or to your position having all the knowledge that you would otherwise have to learn while you're at the job you know yes so for me that was that was the the, the selling point yeah i mean the technicals they really really grill you on the technicals and mr romero has done a like an amazing job at teaching the, his students um you know everything about um the technical aspect of the of the investment banking industry, right? From, you know, financial modeling to valuation, okay. creating, you know, client ready, client ready presentation. So you really get, I remember when I came in as a, a sophomore and I, when I compare myself to what I'm now and back then, there's a huge change in terms. And, the, and we actually did um, kind of cover the steep learning curve, which full-time workers do, do in their first six months of the job. So, I mean, he, he's really, preparing his students very well for you know the on the job experience um, yeah definitely and and, and and sorry to interrupt you but even no, you when could. when you're interviewing with these companies and we go back, back again to this to this topic and mm-hmm. they ask you those technical questions you know it, it really shows if you know what you're talking about you know it, it's really different if you compare a candidate that only you know like like learn something from a guide and mm-hmm. that doesn't really have practice or experience with the numbers Mm-hmm. than someone that has actually, you know, gone through an entire uh, financial model uh, that has built it from scratch, yeah. that knows how the income balance sheet and, 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 and cash flow statements yeah. relate to each other, mm-hmm. that knows how a DCF works. Mm-hmm. That's probably one of the questions that everyone asks. Yeah. And, even if, and if you can give examples of yourself working with XYZ company uh-huh. and how you came up to those projections while you're target price was you know the interview is going to be wow you know yeah. this guy really knows what he's talking yeah. about yeah so uh, i mean um if you were to go back in time and join the romero mentoring program again 
and you know after completing it what would you think would you have done differently in order to make the most out of this experience uh well i mean i think one of the parts that we all have well not not, not all of us but i think that I have to get better is that being able to ask questions especially at the beginning mm-hmm. and mr romero is someone that's really really takes the time to answer them yes I mean, I remember, especially in, in those first models that you're that you're doing with him uh-huh. at the beginning, mm-hmm. where it's all like you know you're learning Chinese or something like that. <laughs> um, uh, you really something that really helped me and that I feel ha- that I should have done from the beginning was some um, you know writing down questions. I remember I, I started doing that in like the fourth model. So every time I had a call with Mr. Romero, with Mr. Romero, I had my my written questions and I would ask ask him to him because otherwise mm-hmm. you know you would have the question and probably you forgot and when yes. you talk to mr romero you wouldn't ask them mm-hmm. so i think that's a really good tip you know so write them down you know if you don't understand a concept write it down and, and you can ask him and he'll show you yeah and I mean, from a, yeah yeah go ahead. go ahead go ahead i'm sorry to interrupt you yeah no and, and i was just gonna say and, and from a, from from other point it's just you know uh, just you have to give your 100 110 you know yeah this program is made for for people who actually want to succeed in the industry who want to learn mm-hmm. so you're gonna get as much out of it as you put in mm-hmm. so you know just just put it just put in, in in the work yeah 100 i mean that's what uh, i think that's a wonderful tip which you've given to everyone because uh whoever, wherever you are i think asking questions is the best way to increase your knowledge mm-hmm. and um if you have a mentor like Mr. Romero who is willing to go out of his way to answer your questions and help you with all the problems i mean your i mean your knowledge will just increase tremendously and even mm-hmm. for people you know um, you just getting into any industry for example you, you got to ask questions to your employers or even your employee to understand more about the concept and you know understand more about the market dynamics how things work so asking questions is a really really important thing which you mentioned out there so going up going you know going again to the topic of tips and advice what advice would you have for incoming freshmen and sophomores who are you know interested in pursuing careers in finance and that would be the last question because we got to wrap it up okay uh, yeah i i i would say you know just study just learn learn and yeah. learn and learn uh, as as we've talked this is a really really competitive industry mm-hmm. where you where you're going to be competing against the best of the best and and mm-hmm. hundreds of students or not only in the united states but around the world mm-hmm. and you know if you're able you know for example i like to read a lot i think that's something that helped, that ha- helped, that has helped me a lot mm-hmm. and you know just you know me for my personal experience you know i try to read books about investing i try to read books about you know successful investors or successful ceos or mm-hmm how things work in the finance industry mm-hmm. that has helped, that that has helped me tremendously if you're not someone that likes reading a lot you know we are in the digital era i think mm-hmm. we are very lucky compared yeah. to our parents or to our previous generation because mm-hmm. you know we can just go on youtube and find hundreds yeah. of thousands of videos of free content <laughs> yeah. that we can just watch instead of you know instead of you know watching some netflix before going to bed you can probably you know just play a youtube videos of something totally new to you mm-hmm. and that's that knowledge is really going to compound in the future and it's going to help you a lot you mm-hmm. just you know just keep learning keep learning i mean that's that's some really good advice because when i when i came as a freshman i wish you know i would have been more focused about um you know what or what my career paths goals were and you know started reading way before accumulating knowledge uh because that really helps you you know in creating a competitive advantage over other people and as you mentioned since it's a very very competitive industry you got to find your edge uh, somewhere or the other and i think reading and watching these videos or podcasts are a really really a great way to you know find your edge and understand more about how the industry works um so with uh, having said that i mean i think we are done with most of our questions again thank you so much for joining us um in this alumni chat series and for the viewers please stay tuned uh, for our upcoming uh, webinar and also chat series um to understand more about different industries and uh, what we do at Romero mentoring thank you Julio no no thank you and and you know yeah thanks for everything it was, it was great yeah